Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. If you are using SQL Server login, how often the records get deleted from CISO SSIS log table? Or do we have to create some purge process by ourselves? So if I show you here, let me take you to the SSMS and run a uh, select query on this table. I have sys SSIS log table and I executed my package only one time with one data flow. But the mistake I made, I have selected all the events. So that's not recommended, select the events what you need. But in case somebody have done it, or even they have selected very few of the events, but they have a lot of packages and they are putting information in this table. So this table is gonna grow huge and uh, that's uh, going to fill your storage and uh, the different uh, problems. When hundreds of packages are running with the multiple executables or tens of executables, the, this, this will be a problem. You are creating a big table and uh, putting information in this table from multiple packages at the same time and uh, uh, that can be also a performance uh, issue on the packages level uh, when they are putting a lot of information in the table on different events. So be selective on the events. Now, once we have the table, we have to deal with it. The most inf important information when we come to this table, we, we always go to this table when the error happen. You are not going to go to this table every day and, and filter thousands of records or millions of records and see if the packages ran successfully or not. So those you have the job set up, if the job fail, you get the email or you, you get the alert from uh, your DBSA, okay, your job fail. That's where you are going to come to this pa table and find out the error. So events we have on failure, on uh, error, those are the most important events. But all that other information we are putting, uh, that can be deleted after some time. So in my process uh, where I had been working and uh, we keep the logs for seven days and uh, we fix the errors in the same day or the next day and uh, still we keep uh, the error information for seven days. But other records, uh, we can delete them. The SSIS, uh, log table when it's created it doesn't create a sql server agent job to purge this one or delete the old records so you have to create your own sql server agent job so you can delete the old records and just keep the seven days record what i recommend have this table in some uh, user database do not put in the msdb and uh, on any other system uh, database or even not in the databases uh, which you are using uh, for oltp or warehousing so use uh, a separate database where you are putting only ssis object or just uh, some uh, custom uh, objects for login for other applications as well so keep that one in a simple recovery so when you are deleting you are not filling the transaction log of the database that's one thing and uh, if you are putting in uh, some full recovery uh, database and uh, then you delete it you are going to deal with the transaction log fill because these will be a lot of records and you will be deleting them uh, one more thing can be done when you delete the records leave the records for the own error or or or, or on failure in this one and delete all others that can be also helpful because you can you have the error information for, for a long time maybe you have the uh, those information for a month or a year you want to keep that information so uh, th that's a good thing and th there could be another option you can read those uh, all information let's say you read the on error and on um, failure uh, events uh, information and put into some uh, uh, other table and uh, just uh, find a time when you can truncate this uh, table so all the old information you can put into one of uh, history table and just truncate this one so you don't have to delete and uh, deal with the transaction log and all those kind of thing so find a time of uh, the day or uh, in the uh, have a job set up at that time when no package is running you can always truncate it and uh, but before that you always uh, take the record or important records and put this into history table so each company can have different scenarios or different techniques to purge these records but at the end of the day we have to have create our own sql server agent job to purge or delete the records from this table thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video